Well, the Georgia primary is tomorrow, but it is just the beginning of the fight for potentially the most important voters in the country, black voters in Georgia. WALB News since Fallon Howard shows us how black voters are being pushed on all sides to become engaged in this year's election. Your vote matters now more than ever in the state of Georgia. In 2020, the difference in the presidential election was fewer than 12,000 votes. That's why groups like Black Voters Matter are taking their We Fight Back campaign to places like South Georgia. On completion of your sentence, probation and parole, and all time in prison, you automatically get your rights back to vote. You just have to register. Dominique Harris is speaking to just a few of the people who could decide the winner in Georgia, even the nation. Black voters have never been so critical at the polls. In 2020, President Joe Biden won the election largely because of support from young non-white voters. Biden had nearly 40 percent more votes than Trump from that segment of the population. But a recent time Siena poll shows that margin has shrunk to just 7 percent. Both candidates are trying to connect with black voters with both direct and indirect messaging. The black people are so much on my side now because they see what's happening to me happens to them. Does that make sense? Not since President Lincoln and the Civil War have freedom and democracy been under assault at home as they are today. 33% of all eligible voters in Georgia are black, but voting rights groups know that black voters won't matter in 2024 unless they are registered. Election season is a real, real fight for our life, and we need to be real, real, real ears to the ground on what they're saying. More than 50,000 black people live in Albany. Activists believe that if enough register and vote, it could be enough to swing Georgia or even the nation in November. Fallon Howard, WAOB News 10, your hometown news source. And tomorrow is the big day in Georgia. Voters all across the Peach State will cast their ballots, including absentee ballots, in Tuesday's primary election. Georgia will have a second primary day on May 21st for races to include the U.S. House and Georgia General Assembly contests. 